In the heart of the sprawling intergalactic metropolis, the towering courthouse stood as a beacon of justice, its gleaming spires reaching towards the stars. Inside, a tense silence filled the air as the trial of the century was about to begin. Gorax, a Vortaxian accused of treason against his own government, sat nervously in the defendant's chair, his forearms fidgeting with anxiety. He knew that his fate rested in the hands of his lawyer, a human named Maximilian Max Ryder. Max, a sharp-witted and relentless advocate, had only recently arrived on the galactic stage. As a member of Earth's most prestigious law school, he had quickly made a name for himself, despite the relative inexperience of his species in intergalactic legal matters. When Gorax, unable to afford a high-priced lawyer, had reached out to Max, the human had jumped at the chance to prove himself on the biggest stage of all. As Max strode into the courtroom, his tailored suit and confident demeanor turned heads. The Vortaxian prosecutor, a tall, slender being with piercing yellow eyes, sneered at the human lawyer, underestimating his abilities. Max, however, was undeterred. He knew that he had the skills and the determination to win this case, no matter the odds. The trial began with a bang as the prosecutor laid out a damning case against Gorax. The evidence seemed overwhelming encrypted communications, financial records, and eyewitness testimony all pointed towards Gorax's guilt. The Vortaxian government, it seemed, had caught a traitor red-handed. But Max was not convinced. As he listened to the prosecutor's case, his mind raced, picking apart the evidence and searching for holes in the story. And then, during cross-examination, he found his opening. With surgical precision, Max began to unravel the prosecutor's case. He exposed inconsistencies in the evidence, casting doubt on the credibility of key witnesses. He hammered away at the logical fallacies in the prosecutor's arguments, leaving the Vortaxian flustered and uncertain. As the trial progressed, Max's relentless questioning began to bear fruit. He uncovered a shocking revelation the true traitor was not Gorax, but a high-ranking member of the Vortaxian government named Zalix. Max presented irrefutable evidence of Zalex's guilt, including encrypted communications and financial records that linked him to a rival alien empire. The courtroom erupted in chaos as the implications of Max's discovery sank in. The Vortaxian government, desperate to save face, attempted to silence Max and suppress the evidence, but Max was too quick for them. He had already leaked the information to the galactic media, sparking a massive scandal that rocked the Vortexian political establishment. In a stunning turn of events, Gorax was acquitted of all charges and Zalex was arrested and charged with treason. The Vortexian people, outraged by the corruption within their government, demanded sweeping reforms and greater transparency. News of Max's victory spread like wildfire throughout the galaxy. Aliens from every corner of the universe sought out human lawyers, believing them to be the best in the business. Max found himself inundated with requests for representation, as well as offers from prestigious intergalactic law firms. As Max's fame grew, so too did the reputation of human lawyers. Earth's law schools became the most sought after in the galaxy, with aliens from countless worlds clamoring to study under human professors. The Galactic Bar Association, once dominated by alien species, soon found itself with a significant human presence. Human lawyers brought a fresh perspective to the practice of law, introducing innovative legal strategies and challenging long-held assumptions about justice and fairness. Max, now a galactic legal icon, used his influence to push for greater equality and representation for all species within the legal system. He founded the Ryder Intergalactic Justice Foundation, which provided legal aid to underprivileged aliens and worked to combat corruption and discrimination in the courts. But Max's work was far from over. As he took on more and more high-profile cases, he began to uncover a web of corruption and deceit that stretched across the galaxy. He discovered that the Vortaxian government was not the only one with secrets to hide. Other alien empires, it seemed, were also engaged in nefarious activities, using their wealth and power to manipulate the legal system and maintain their grip on power. Max knew that he could not stand idly by while injustice reigned, he assembled a team of the galaxy's most talented lawyers, both human and alien, and set out to take on the corrupt powers that be. Together they exposed scandal after scandal, 
bringing down corrupt politicians and businessmen and fighting for the rights of the oppressed. As Max's crusade gained momentum, he faced increasing resistance from those who sought to maintain the status quo. Death threats, assassination attempts, and smear campaigns became a constant presence in his life. But Max refused to be intimidated. He knew that the stakes were too high, that the fate of the galaxy rested on his shoulders. And so Max Ryder and his team of intergalactic legal warriors continued their fight, battling corruption and injustice wherever they found it. They became a symbol of hope for the downtrodden and the marginalized, a beacon of light in a galaxy too often shrouded in darkness. Years later, as Max sat in his luxurious office overlooking the glittering spires of the galactic capital, he reflected on the incredible journey that had brought him to this point. He thought back to that fateful trial, where he had taken a chance on a desperate Vortaxian defendant and ended up changing the course of galactic history. As he gazed out at the stars, Max knew that his work was far from over. There would always be those who sought to abuse their power and deny justice to the vulnerable. But with the rise of human lawyers like himself, Max knew that the galaxy was in good hands. And so, the legend of Maximilian Ryder and the human lawyers who transformed the galactic legal system continued to grow, inspiring generations of advocates across the universe to fight for truth, justice, and the rights of all sentient beings. In a galaxy full of wonders and terrors, one thing was certain as long as there were humans like Max Ryder, no injustice would go unchallenged and no voice would go unheard.